Howdy SEO Mothers and welcome to another edition of Whiteboard Friday. Uh, this Friday I'm actually talking about moving websites. Um, it's a question we get a lot in Q&A and I think it's something that, that comes up uh, very frequently in the webmaster world primarily because it's so challenging and because a lot of the times if you have experience moving a site from one place to another you'll notice that the search engines are not um, shall we say at all intelligent about figuring out what's going on with your content. So here's kind of four quick hard fast rules for, for doing this. First thing, and this is the thing that a lot of people forget about, is you really need to verify your old site and your new site, right? So let's say you've got you know domain1.com and domain2.com. Verify those sites at Webmaster Central for Google, at Yahoo Site Explorer, right? Live has their new tools. Um, I will find out what the name of that is on Friday. Um, tomorrow, right? It's Thursday now. Uh, you should go in and verify both of these sites to say like these sites are both owned by me, I control them, right? That way uh, the search engines can be very comfortable with them. If you try and register your old site after you've 301 it, you're going to have a heck of a time doing it because there's a, it, it's going to be really tough for you to upload content there, right, with a meta tag or whatnot. Um, the second thing you want to do, analyze your current traffic and rankings, right? Figure out where you're ranking at Ask and Yahoo and Live and Google. The reason that this is important is because you need to know what you might lose and, and what you have to gain from this move. And you need to be able to figure out, like, okay, after the move happens, what have I lost? Where am I, you know, picking back up again? Which engines seem to have a problem with this? Why are they having trouble? If you don't know this, you, you'll just look at your visit stats and you'll be like, huh, gosh, it's, it's all going really downhill. That's frustrating, that sucks, but you don't know why. This will allow you to know why if things take a turn for the worse or if things take a turn for the better. Then when you make the 301 magic happen, right? Uh, Jeff did a Whiteboard Friday all about 301s. I'm sure he'll link to it in the post. Um, and Matt wrote an article a while back about 301s for Apache. Basically what you want to do is you need to write rules. You can't be generic when you move stuff. So you want to be taking, you know, here's your four page site, let's say. You want to move them exactly, right? This page to that page, this page to that page. And not just take this whole site and redirect it to the home page or something like that. Um, if you have a very, very complex site, sometimes you'll say, ah, geez, you know, I really, I cannot write enough rules to get all this content. It's going to take me forever. Here's what you do. Go into your analytics, take your top performing, you know, 100 or 500 or 1,000 pages with the engines where you get most of your search traffic, worry about redirecting those properly. Don't have to worry about the rest of them necessarily. Obviously, the more you can do, the better. And then the, finally, the fourth rule. You want to analyze the results and grow and change external links. So when, you're, when your 301s all launch and when everything is moved over, if you can go back to a lot of the link sources that are pointing to your site, and get them to point to your new site and update, that'll be really, really helpful, right? So if you've got some great links in directories, or you've got some great links from your friends, or you're listed in a lot of blog roles or something, go tell those people, hey, we moved, can you update your links? Having those updated will be great. The second thing is if you can get, after a big launch, a, a huge piece of link bait out there, or viral content, or have a bunch of people pay attention to the move, that'll really help you out as well. That'll help you to get new link juice coming in, and the search engines will spider the new site and realize how important it is. All right, everyone, uh, this Monday is our SEO seminar where I'll be doing all sorts of presenting for eight hours in a row and then a big Monday night football party and, and lots of fun stuff. I hope to see you there. Um, if not, I'll certainly see you on the blog and we'll see you for another edition of Whiteboard Friday.